Hello and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. This time I'm here with set 75297 Resistance X-Wing. This set was released on the 1st of March 2021, has 60 pieces, is rated ages 4 plus and comes with two minifigs. As you'll see there in the bottom right corner we have Poe Dameron and BB-8. Uh, the set retails at 19.99 in euros, 17.99 in pounds and 19.99 in dollars which is a strange comparison but hey. The T-70 X-Wing fighter was the primary fighter of the Resistance. Generally in grey and blue, Poe Dameron however customised his one to have blue and white and orange. This is the second Junior's X-Wing that LEGO have brought out and it's quite similar to the last one which was Luke's Red 5 and uses the same cockpit piece. A nice starter set for kids and a cheap way to get Poe and BB-8, notably it doesn't really come with any side build like the previous 4 plus sets. On now to the back of the box and you'll see some pretty typical stuff. You see one action box that says the uh, cockpit can open and close with, uh, uh, as you want it to. Um, and then it'll show you the learn to build kind of thing around here as well. It shows you it's quite easy to put together. It's literally just a matter of putting two pieces together and clicking it all together then. You'll also see then the spaceship at another angle as well with the uh, with the foils closed. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much all I can say about the back of the box really. So here you have everything that comes with the set. It comes of course with the fighter itself. It comes with Poe Dameron and his helmet and he comes with a silver blaster rifle and then it comes with BB-8. Of course this is the new version with the large photoreceptor. So yeah, that's pretty much all. Let's get on to the minifigs. So first up we have Poe Dameron wearing his signature orange jacket. Uh, underneath that you will see his uh, kind of beige or off-white shirt. Uh, underneath that you will see towards the top there, there's not exactly his skin colour but closer to his skin colour than the beige. It's kind of more of a grey than the off-white uh, that his shirt is. Um, but on the jacket you will see some nice little bits of print in there. Um, with the red on the top and on the kind of top right as well there, the side. Um, and down then from that you will see pockets, zips, badges, like all these kind of little, little different things. And that's quite nice there. It's quite done quite well. Um, underneath that you will see no leg printing, no belt printing or anything like that. Uh, on the back then you will see just a little bit more detail there for the uh, kind of impression of fabric, for the impression of his jacket. And that's nicely done. Um, of course you will see nothing on the sides there, quite typical. Um, and again, nothing on the back of the legs there at all. Um, now, this is the piece that I think is the most important of uh, Poe, is the dual molded helmet. Now, this is amazing, because I just think the, the colour on it, and maybe the uh, mould as well, but especially the colour is just really nice. Um, you will see there that the print is uh, around 360 there, and has some nice kind of colours involved. There you will see the Rebel logo or Resistance in this case logo on the top right of his helmet there and again there on the side with some more dots this side and uh, just a little close up there you will see kind of some other small little details there as well uh, which is definitely interesting to see. You'll see some Star Wars right in there, some black lines, some blue lines, black lines again this side with some yellow lines around that and a, another kind of bit of symbology there as well and just some little nooks and bits like this i think is really really nice i think the fact that the uh the visor is molded onto the helmet rather than printed onto the face is a really really nice touch as well underneath that you will see his face is kind of like ready to go determined uh he has a little bit of his stubble there and on the other side then a little bit more angry a little bit more uh ready for action um, but otherwise not an awful lot to say about this minifigure. It's done well but I think the print on the jacket is a little faded compared to what it should be or what it has been. Um, he comes of course with his silver blaster and of course like any other minifigure that fits in his hand with ease and doesn't cause any uh, balance issues there. Um, so that is good. Um, but yeah, that's all I can say about the minifigure. I think it's well done, apart from the fact, of course, that the, um, I think that the print has faded a little bit, but yeah, good addition to the set, and you kind of has to be, you know, you have to have a pilot with the, uh, uh X-Wing, so that is decent to add into the set. Next up then, we have BB-8 with the large photoreceptor. Um, not an awful lot of difference between him and any other BB-8, in fairness. The body is the exact same since the first it's ever been used. Um, and I think, to be honest, it's nice. I don't think they needed to change it. You'll see there that the uh, 
um, I think on the print in there is the lighter from the front you'll see some other kind of little functions that he has there as well each little different print in the circle is a different function uh, on the head then you will see some nice printing uh, it's quite accurate it's quite on point there it's not really off center or anything like that so that is nice to see uh, fairly standard the whole way around there uh, fairly kind of copy and paste and then the, really the only main difference is the front there with the photoreceptor and some other little uh, buttons and knobs and stuff um, definitely a nice little minifigure to have in the set because you need a droid for your X-Wings and that is a fact but you know again these are two kind of undesirable figures uh, in the sense that they're just common as muck these days they're the new R2-D2 and C-3PO you know so that's kind of a, you know a, a shame that they are kind of overused so much and we can't really appreciate them as much but still at the same time they are nice little minifigures moving on now to the X-Wing itself and I, 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 what can I say in relation to a six-year-old, I'll give the review, and in relation to anybody else, I'll give a review. So the first off of the six-year-old review, um, it's great. It really is. It's a good representation um, of the X-Wing uh, with the little parts, as, as little parts as you can use, and with kind of no small parts, just big parts. It is definitely a good representation, and also the fact that the... Uh, Pricks are printed is good because they don't have to apply stickers and stuff and you know being that age uh, it would be a bit more difficult and to be honest the stickers would also just kind of get like crumpled up and stuck onto something else or you know but then moving on you can see uh, the cockpit is just easily accessible like it's not going to really fall off with the six year old playing with it like I'm being, kind of being rough enough there and like there it finally has come off but at the same time it took, took a lot for me to do that. Um, and you will also see then that the hole in the side makes it easier for the kids to kind of open up uh, once they're that age it's just easier to play with you know you can kind of push out the wings as well to kind of whatever really degree you want to and make it look kind of silly if you want um, like you can like really kind of take the PE there um, but at the same time if you don't want to do that of course you can actually just open them up one click each um, like that and to be honest, it actually does stand up like that. I mean, if you give it a push, it'll fall, of course. But, um, I mean, it's nothing really too difficult for a child to play with, build, or remake if it does break. Um, but, like, what can I really say? The detail on it is minimal, completely minimal. There is no real detail on it. They have managed to add in the main kind of features of it, which is the long kind of nose here in the front, the four guns on the wings, and the S foils opening up like that. Of course, this is falling off now, but that's because I'm being a little bit rough with it. But at the same time, it's easily fixed. You know, it's not something that is going to be hard for a four-year-old to uh, fix. Um, but yeah, definitely a nice little set for a four-year-old. What can I say? Um, on the adult side, it's a little bit disappointing to see that we've gotten another one of these uh, because I feel like the last snow speeder that we got was okay because it came out with the AT-80 and it wasn't a nice scale, even though the cockpit was like comically big for the snow speeder. Uh, I think it still was a nice one to add to the uh, to the release of the AT-80. And also it came with a side build. You were getting a little bit more value for your money and you were getting a nice snow trooper figure in it and you were getting a nice like, uh, I think was it Wedge or it was Wedge Antilles I think who was in it, uh, which was definitely nice. And then going from that to this, um, which is a remake of, essentially a remake, a different coloured remake of the Red 5 from last year uh, without the side build and without sign of any figures that you'd really want. Uh, from the adult's perspective, it isn't really great at all. Um, with those printed pieces, maybe that's actually a good thing because if you want to do 501st mocks, that actually could help quite a lot in certain places. Um, otherwise, there's not really an awful lot of pieces that you could use. Like There is a kind of blue bricks and stuff that you could use for 501st mocks there, definitely. Um, but like there's like there's from the adult's perspective, it's not really that impressive you know it's not and i'm not gonna lie i mean it's not just because it's four plus there is some four plus sets that are fine but with this one i feel like it's just missed the mark altogether um but again for the sake of, for the sake of a cheap set for kids to start off with this is a good set don't get me wrong but it's just if you are over four <laughs> it's it's not for you so now I'll show you that the figures fit in well there. You have to put up the hands of the figures as per usual with most kind of starships. Um, now this, you can put him down there and his gun will actually stay in his hand outside there. So that is actually another good thing for the sake of playability and imaginative play. 
uh, which is great. Kids need imaginative play in their lives, especially in this day and age with technology, but we'll not get into that. BB-8 can sit on the back there, no problem, although he isn't really protected all that well at all. Um, he still can, you know, he can function, it does function well. And you can open up the S foils there. You can hold on to the back there, as per usual with most X-Wings. You hold on to it around here or like that or whatever you want to do. And it has sociability. I mean, like what else could you want? There is no projectiles like flick fire missiles or stud shooters because it's for four-year-olds. So they want to keep it as safe as possible in that regard. And there are no pieces that are particularly small. So that is kind of something that they strayed away from for the sake of safety uh, for the four-year-old set. Um, but yeah, all in all, I will say that it's a good set for what they're offering. For the sake of safety, uh, playability, um, all these things that a child needs, like especially as young as four years of age, um, like it does bode well for them. You know, it is definitely worth it. And, you know, it's a good starting point for kids. Um, but like compared to what we've gotten, it doesn't really meet the mark. Like it's it's not as good value for money as it as they have been in the past. Uh, it's not like as as impressive in by any means as it was in the past. The only thing that an adult would really take from this maybe is that helmet. But I'm not sure. Have we seen that before or is it new? Um, I'm just speculating here. Um, to be honest, I, I wouldn't give it like any marks at all for adults. I just like I just ignore it altogether for adults. Um, or anybody over the age of like eight or even six maybe I don't know it depends um but for a four-year-old yeah it is a good set thanks a million for watching my video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below if you think there's anything that needs to be said thanks a million guys see you again take care